I kind of feel like mercy is upon us. We're at a time of like forgiveness. How do you feel about mass pardons? I'm talking about Hillary Clinton's emails, Joe Biden's son, Donald Trump. Just let the past go. Move. So, so, so you're asking a deep question. Uh, moving. To, we're getting back into serious mode <laughs> because you just, you, I love that you just break stuff. We're, we're like going light. You just get like real serious real fast. So this is this is important. I take a lot of inspiration from Nelson Mandela. Okay, Nelson Mandela was a guy who brought together a nation who was far more divided than ours is today. And one of the things, I mean, I've been very vocal about this in this presidential campaign. I've said that I would pardon Donald Trump if I'm elected president. I do not want to see my competition eliminated. I want to win this election by convincing the voters of this country that I'm best positioned to take the America First agenda forward, not by having the federal administrative state eliminate my competition. I think there will come a time when once we have spoken the truth, and I don't think we're there yet. I think there are truths that yet still need to be exposed where I would be willing to say that we go around the table 360 degrees. We acknowledge the truth. We will not lie. We will not sweep it under a rug. But we will lay down arms and say we are moving forward as one nation. And I know a lot of people aren't going to be thrilled about me saying that, right? Because I think we're in a mood, a national mood right now to say that, no, 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 our goal, we are at war internally in the country, and we want to pummel the other side into the ground using the same means that they've been exploiting in the other direction. Hmm. And I understand that, and I am all in for exposing exactly how deep that rot runs. But there will come a time in this country where it will take a leader to say that we're done with that phase of our recent past. We're done with that chapter of our national life. We're done with the weaponization ping pong. Right now it's ping before it goes to the other mm. side of pong. We say we're, we're done playing that game. Mm. And so in my journey, take office of January 2025, I'll be leading a nation and not a political party. And that is an idea that I am very open to after we've gotten to the truth of the matter of all of the ways in which the government has actually lied to us. Yeah, good answer.